I need, I need, I need, I need. Ooh, yeah, it's Monica the same. Okay, you see that? Nothing happened. I Bienvenidos muses, regresé con un nuevo video. Today's video is what everyone's been raving about and I'm here for the real tea because I don't got time. I spent my own coins on this. So I better hope to get some bomb results, all right? So I got the, the KKW Contour, Cream Contour Highlight Kit and this is in the color Deep Dark. Pero para que ustedes vean, hoy voy a hacer el review para del producto de Kim Kardashian. Salió con un producto de contour, de contorno y highlight y quiero ver si trabaja para las mujeres de mi color porque yo creo que es muy difícil para buscar productos que los que, que trabajan para nuestra piel. A veces ustedes saben que yo soy la reina del contorno, me encanta ver el La forma de la cara es una de mis mejores partes de mi maquillaje. I said my favorite part of makeup is the contour. I just love how you can create another shape for your face regardless of what the beat looks like. If you have the structure and the contour is on point, you look bomb. I'm really excited about this product because one, it's been controversy headlines all over YouTube. There's been so much good tea. There's been so much bad tea. I'm just really interested to just be like, all right, guys, you guys are either overreacting and it is a bomb product, or you're probably telling the truth and it can need it needs a little bit more work. I'm a person like I don't really take what other people have to say. Like I'll listen to it, but then I'm more of a person like I need to see if it's for real for myself. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. E vamos a comer. All right, so I'm gonna figure. <laughs> ah. I'm sure there was an easier way to bite this, and I mean cut this open, but. Todo el mundo estaba dando complain del paquete que parece de que comida de de cómo se dice like military packaged food. You know, I'm I'm a packaged girl, but I'm makeup obsessed, so I can really care less where the package comes from. I think it's cool, it's easy, you can toss it, it doesn't take up space, it's fine. Okie dokie, meeting. So I think she was playing in mine again, makeup on the go, something to do really easy. So aquí tenemos el deep dark highlight. Okay. I'm getting anxiety as this is happening. Like, I feel like my heart is pacing. Y'all, you guys were not lying. I paid so much money for this. Yo, yo gasté un dineral en este producto. I mean, yo entiendo son tres. Tres cosas que vienen en este paquete. Pero muchacha, explícame. Ay, ah! I'm not even going to take out the rest. I'm gonna try to get the rest of the, the, the highlight and put it back in. Después, vamos a ir con el deep dark contour. I got deep darkest. Yo necesitaba el más oscuro. Okay, I'm not taking it all out because listen, this looks like it could actually snatch up my face. Then highlight. Vamos a ver. This is two. Let's go with the with the first one. So what I'm saying, raro. It does have a. Sh it has like a makeup scent. That's weird, right? If I say that, like you know how certain products have a scent. Okay, for myself. So I am going. I'm gonna go in with her Kabuki brush. She said that she likes to wet it, so I'm gonna take a little bit of Fix Plus spray, and I'm just going to apply it. No reason to lie to you. Uh, esto se defuminó muy bien. Let me try it right there. I don't think 
so much the contour is gonna be the problem. I'm gonna go in with the darkest color from the kit, from the stick, contour stick, and it's the shade number two for my deep darkest people, all right? It's a little dark, but let's just intensify it. Only thing I will say is that that brush is a little time consuming. So I don't know if I would run to that brush immediately. I don't think I would actually run to that brush just because there's just so many other quicker brushes that I can just, you know, diffuse and blend out my contour with. I'm gonna go in with a brush to contour my nose. Kimmy Kim Kim. I'm not sure this is the shade I would use. This is almost like a peach, right? I, I wouldn't use this color. Yo no usaría este color. Este color parece como lo que yo uso para corrector las las los imperfecciones en mi cara, como un corrector. Y esto es el highlight para bajo los ojos. Vamos a ver. Okay, look Kim, if you do ever watch this video, as I'm turning the tube, I'm not sure if it's because it's hot, it doesn't come down. But this gets stuck, you see? I don't know if you can see it. I can tell you right now, this is not going to blend anything for me. Uh, I already see that my pores are being enhanced severely. Okay, you see that? Nothing happened as I'm putting this on. So maybe the product is too creamy and it's not blendable. Hold on. Wait, I tried it. But if I go harder, you can almost see my pores. It doesn't look horrible, but it just moves too much for me and I have a lot of imperfections. Like this is too much work to blend something that was marked at that price point. You know, there's just too much blending. I also like to then take the concealer. Me gusta coger el highlight otra vez y ponerlo abajo donde puse el contorno. So I'm gonna go in and highlight under where I just contoured. All right, I'm gonna be completely honest. There's just too much work that's being devoted to just blending. So I'm not sure if it's something in the formula, but I'm like burnt out from trying to def like to blend out the contour. Yeah, the peach wasn't like horrible, but it's just, it's too creamy. So what happens is if you have large pores, this product is not gonna work for you. If you have oily skin, this product is not gonna work for you. Like I already see like my pores a lot more than what I started with. I'm trying to see if you guys can see it. <gasps> no! Alright, you guys. The whole thing came out. Just gonna apply some right here. Okay, I need this highlight to really show. Mm 
Bueno. Yo no veo eso ni pa' tanto. I don't see a highlight at all. So this is what the face looks like with just the Kim product. I think it's important when you're thinking about cream contouring or just contouring in general that the blending has to be seamless. And I think for me, it's just not gonna be the first thing I grab just because it's just a lot of work. I am the everyday girl. I'm always in a rush. I always am running late. So I just need something that's easy. I love the idea that you have behind the product, Kim. I think what you're trying to do is genius. Pero eh, para mí no va a ser la primera cosa que yo cojo para hacer mi maquillaje. No sé si esto es pro un producto que te tienen que llevar para la playa. I'm not sure if I would take this on vacation. As I'm scrolling, it's like the product is moving onto the tube. So this should definitely be used in cold climate weather. Oh! In cold climate weather, it's really creamy, which I can appreciate, pero es que demasiado trabajo. It's gonna be a no for me, even though it's already been a yes because I went out and bought it and I supported the brand. Um, but I think it just needs a little bit more work. I believe in you. I know it's in there somewhere. I think you just needed some trials and tribulations to go through, pero... Yeah, I really never really had a malfunction. Like, I mean, I have a $2 concealer that gets the job done. So I think those are things that you should consider. Like, you have some serious competitors that are extremely drugstore. Like, we won't have to spend more than three, four dollars on some top concealer. One, the product was definitely made with intentions to cater to women of color. So we can check that off. We were considered, guys. You don't have to worry about what they thought about us. We definitely were considered. We were definitely thought of. But they didn't really think about how easy and blendable it is. If you're a girl who has imperfections, large pores, if you're color correcting, the beauty blend, the blender that's on the stick will remove this guy right here. It's going, it's so hard that it's going to remove the product that you've applied on your skin to cover up your imperfections. So I'm a girl who's flawed up and unfortunately as I'm applying this, it was coming off of my face, like my, co my color corrector was coming off of my face. I'm glad I tried it out for myself. You should get your own opinion about anything in life. Like for me doing reviews is a little different because I do reviews as if I was to be, um, you know, a correspondent. Like I want to know, you know, what would you work on next? You know, was it working for the people? I don't know. I want to find out for myself. I'm gonna try it on myself and I'm just gonna say ah, I'm not sure if it worked for me Maybe it worked for other people. I don't know the person or the you know the process that went the product went through So who am I? You know what I'm saying? All I could do is give you kudos Hope you take in the constructive criticism that was given to you that was presented to you And I hope you can run with it and you know better your product. Did I look cute? Did you think I could work with these products? Let me know. ¿Cómo ustedes creen que se me vio el contorno, el highlight? Todo. Era un chincarito ese producto. No me recuerdo, pero voy a poner el número aquí. Um, yo soy una muchacha que le encanta el contorno, el highlight, el, tú sabes, la cara que se me vea finita. I'm definitely sure that whatever you come out with next, you're going to take this constructive criticism and you're going to put it into play. So I'm really not even worried. But I love you guys. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this review. And yeah. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love you in the next video. Mwah.